Alrighty, let's get this started. Just waiting for some people. Theo, can you come sit? Sit. Yay. Alrighty, hello everyone. We are getting started. We'll wait for a couple more people to come up. We're gonna start probably about 5.05 or so. Hello everybody, hello, hello, hello. Just waiting. This is Theo. She is gonna be my helper today. We are super excited. Oh, hello everybody. Share your dog's names. I need to know. I've definitely met Mr. Pickles, you know, like Luna, Mochi. <laughs> Let's, what are your dog's names? Put them down below. Awesome. Yay, my sister is here. My dad is watching. Here we go. Hello, everybody. Let's we'll just wait for a couple more people to go so we can get started. Charlie. I have never met a bad Charlie. Every single Charlie I've met. Rex. Love his name. Rex is so good. Oh, Biggie and George. Oh, hi, Tigger. Uh, yay, I'm so excited, everybody. This is my first live, so it's going to be good. Peanut. Ah, I love Peanut. Luna. Yay. Maltese. Okay, okay, all right. Theo's a Malty Poo, so this is good. Kasha. Yes, that's my little baby. Yes. Jules. Ah. So cute. I've learned the bigger the dog, the more intense the name, like Thor, Odin, Dragon, you know? <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. This is going to be a good class. I'm going to try to get everybody in. Hello, new people adding. Yay. Hello. Charlie. Yes. I love the name Charlie. I bet you have so many nicknames for him, like Charlie, Charles, Mr. Charlie, you know? I, I'm so excited, guys. I know Theo has a whole bunch of different names. Stinky, Lil Miss, Lady. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. I'm I'm here in the Bay Area. I know a lot of our stores are located in LA, but I'm here in the Bay Area. If anybody's from the Bay watching, hey. <laughs> yes, hello, guys. Keep going with the dog names. We'll get started in probably about another minute or so. Um, so in case you guys don't know what the class is going to be about today, it is going to be about um, pros and cons or like what to do for Thanksgiving, what you can give them, what you can't give them. Um, it's also going to be some Thanksgiving recipes specifically for your dogs. Hello, everybody. Hello, new guys joining. Yay. Apple the Golden. Yes. There I've met this little apple and she's an apple headed chihuahua. Her name is Apple, and she only likes to be in her carrier. Nala, I love that name, so exciting. Hello, hello. I'm so excited, especially like when I see the dog's Instagram, I'm like, yes, what is your dog's name? How do I get to pet them? Yay! Alrighty, so let's get started. So I've kind of already given my introduction, but um, one more time, guys, my name is Michael. I've been at Healthy Spot for about a year now. Um, I'm here in the Bay Area. I'm a community creator. Um, so if you ever go to our um, Rockridge location or our Mission Bay location, you'll probably see me setting up a table, tearing down a table. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am on the marketing team. I have worked with dogs for a really, really long time and it's been so great so far. Um, again, this is Theo. This is my little helper today. She is going to be laying around and just doing, you know, doing her thing. Um, so what, let's get going. So I just want to give a huge shout out. Thank you to Primal Foods for, um, for sponsoring us today and Healthy Spot, as always, like we have such a good team and I'm so excited for today. Um, if you RSVP'd on Eventbrite, uh, Primal is sharing a special offer with their class attendees, which is 10% off in store and online. Any Primal, um, any Primal purchases plus a free Primal edible elixir. So cute. I'm so excited. Um, so the promo code online is WFH, no, so work from home, 
Nov, uh, like November, N O V. And I'm going to go ahead and pin that below afterwards. Um, and so the the in code, sorry, the in store offers and promo code will be sent to you via email after the event and everything today. And please, please, please don't forget to share a picture of your dog watching, of you trying the recipes. Um, you just want to tag Healthy Spot, tag Primal Foods. I cannot wait to see your dog's little face covered in Primal, like, raw nuggets. I'm so excited. Please don't forget to tag us at Healthy Spot at, at Primal Foods. Um, so let's get started with the Thanksgiving tips. Let me just do the slides really quickly. Alrighty, can everybody see that? Everybody's good, now I'm in the corner. Hey. Alrighty, so let's start with the pups giving prep. So this is gonna be what's safe for your dog to eat, what isn't safe. You know, let's I know for I'm from Texas, so we just give my dog anything that we don't eat. They lick the plate, the mashed potatoes, gravy, we just give it to them, but <laughs> that's not the case. So let's go over it. So let's get to the next slide. Alrighty, so unsafe. This is going to be your gravy, your butter. So those guys, um, it just it's a high fat content. So it doesn't really add any, um, any, uh, you know, it can cause like gastrointestinal distress, all that kind of stuff. Bread, especially when it's raw, um, it can be dangerous when ingested for dogs and cats, and. Um, it could they could get bloated or just like their stomach hurts really bad. Um, ham, this one really surprised me. Ham, honestly. Um, so it's just super salty and it can be quite dangerous to pets. I know in my family we'll just give them a big hunk of ham as well. I know, I know. It's mainly just because it's high in fat and it's super salty. So it um, can cause serious stomach aches as well as pancreatitis. Um, so you really just want to watch out for that. I know there are some pork things, but um, just make sure not to give them ham during Thanksgiving. Um, marshmallows. So one marshmallow will be fine, but you just want to make sure, you know, especially when you're making that sweet potato casserole or something, not giving them a big scoop. <laughs> I mean, if one falls on the ground, you'll be fine, but it's just really high in sugar, corn starches, stuff like that. You just want to avoid it. Um, onion, garlics, and scallions. So especially like onion, garlic, onion powder, garlic powder. Hey, hey guys, hello. Um, any of that stuff, even if it's in your mashed potatoes and you want to give them a little or you want them to lick the plate, um, it can cause a lot of, um, they could be really sick or um, it could be a danger to the red blood cells. So onion, garlic, scallions, a big no. Uh, grapes and raisins, I know a few of us kind of already know this um, as well, um, but you just, they're nutritious for us, but they can be really toxic for dogs as, and they can cause um, kidney failure. So we just want to make sure no grapes, no raisins, nothing like that. Um, alcohol, so we already know your aunt is opening up the mimosas a little too early. It's 9 a.m., girl, but it's okay. It's okay. Just don't give it to your dogs, okay, y'all? Um, I know I've definitely, even when I was younger, I'm like, I just want to give my dog something, you know, no, don't, don't give your dogs any alcohol, please, y'all. Um, corn on the cob, so corn is, corn is fine, um, but it's the main thing is the cob, so a lot of people will, um, just put a bowl or something with the cob, especially for smaller dogs, rainbow, sorry, <laughs> Um, especially for smaller dogs, it's mainly that they can choke on it. So normal corn is fine. You just want to make sure um, it's not on the cob itself already. Oh, and then um, nuts. Some nuts are okay in dogs, um, which is fine. But basically like walnuts, pistachios, pecans, macadamia nuts, pine nuts, Brazilian nuts, like all those kind of nuts you just want to avoid. I know for my dogs, I just I just don't give them any kind of nuts in general. I know even when I'm eating like my trail mix or something, I want to give them them, but I would just avoid it in general. Um, chocolates. So we all know chocolates. Um, you know, I have definitely caught my dog with some Hershey's Kisses, like foils in her mouth. And I'm like, oh, my God, what? No, please. You know, boom, vet bill. Um, but basically the reason why is because it contains a caffeine like stimulant. 
And if ingested in large amounts, chocolate can cause vomiting, diarrhea, irregular heartbeat, seizures, and even death, like worst case scenario. So if you, you know, just so happen to be cooking something with chocolate, just make sure you're, you know, it's out of the way. Um, and eggnog as well is a big no-no. Um, but you can serve them like primal bone broth. That is super great. Alrighty, and then let's move on to the safe thing. So during Thanksgiving, I know you just want your pet to eat with you. Um, but so turkey for sure, just no bones, no skin. If you have that injectable, I know there's like those injectable type seasonings. I would just avoid it in general. Um, but turkey is totally fine. Just make sure again, no bones, no skin. It's a super um, desired protein, which is great. It's full of good nutrients and it's highly digestible for pretty much all breeds. Um, and it can be used for pets who have like digestible issues. Um, so that's great. Um, sweet potatoes is really good. It's one of the best dietary sources of vitamin A and it promotes healthy skin, coat, um, it helps with eyes, nerves, and muscles in dogs. Like sweet potatoes is so good. Um, but again, just make sure there's no salt, no sugar, no added anything like that. Um, green beans, just make sure there's no ingredients added. I know there's some that's um, in salt. Make sure you avoid that. So if you're just getting like organic green beans or just normal green beans, um, um, so for all the questions, just go ahead and DM us just so our um, nutritionist can just go back. Um, I am, I know a good amount of things just for certain questions I'm not super 100% knowledgeable on. So just go ahead and DM us if you guys have um, other questions. Um, but going back to it, so carrots, um, it's super low in calories and high in fiber and vitamins. I know for my dogs, I'll give carrots as a treat. Um, and it's really good for that crunch too, you know, when they do that rah, 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 kind of thing, carrots are really good. Um, pumpkin is super great. It's um, vitamin A, zinc, improve of your pet's skin and coat, um, as well as apples. Apples are super great. Um, if you're feeding your dogs a few slices of apple, the peel shouldn't be a problem, but like large amounts of apple, um, because of the fiber can be a problem um, and can cause like a digestible, like digestion um, upsets. But, um, you know, and also the core and the seeds and stuff like that. But you can give them like little pieces of apple. That should be fine. And um, eggs. Eggs are so, so good. You just want to make sure that they're cooked. You don't want to give them raw eggs. I know some people give their pets um, raw eggs, but we kind of really encourage um, boiled or cooked um, they make like excellent treats of uh, dietary supplements for dogs. And they're not only like healthy and nutritious snacks for dogs, they can even help settle an upset stomach. I know for me, um, you know, this one, she gets into some things and just giving her eggs honestly really helps. Alrighty. Okay, guys. So let's get on to the cooking. That's what we're here for. Let's head on into the kitchen. Here we go. Alrighty. Okay, guys. So the first thing that we are going to make, please, please feel free to just take a screenshot of this. If you are super interested in trying this recipe, it's going to be so much fun. So what we're going to start off with is the meatballs. So we're going to get eight of the primal turkey and sardine frozen nuggets thawed. So this is what the package looks like. You're going to get about eight of these. And then I already have them pre-portioned out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in my bowl here. Okay. And then you are going to get two tablespoons of the winter squash puree, which is really great. I actually feed these, this to my dogs like all the time. They absolutely love it. So again, you're gonna get two tablespoons. Let's get one and two, perfect. Okay, and then you are going to get um, the Primal Nuggets, the fr the freeze dried. What you're going to do is you're going to get about five of these guys, put it in a gallon Ziploc. What worked out for me was just kind of mushing it with my hand. So this is what's going to help like hold that meatball, you know, form together. 
Um, so then with the mixture, oh, I'm sorry. And you also need one teaspoon of honey. So let's get that guy. You want to make sure it's raw honey, just like this. Okay, and you're gonna put one teaspoon of honey in here. Okay. Alrighty. Then you're just gonna go ahead and get a spoon. So right now the what's in the bowl is the um, the freeze dry, I'm sorry, not the freeze dried. It's the primal nuggets, the two tablespoons of the edible elixir, and then the one teaspoon of the honey. And then we also have the freeze dried um, little nuggets crumbled up and in a bowl and ready for us. So this is where it gets a little messy, <laughs> um, but I mean, we're all pet parents, We, you know, it's messy. So you're just gonna go ahead and mix this guy up. Okay. Perfect. This is what it's gonna look like, mmm. <laughs> Alrighty, and so for me, because I don't like to get super messy, I got myself some gloves. And this is where we are going to form the meatballs and put them on a parchment lined baking sheet. Parchment lined baking sheet. Okay, so then for me, I noticed that what would just really help that actual ball shape is putting this mixture into the refrigerator for about maybe an hour or so just to make sure it's super you know kind of ready to be formed but what you can go ahead and do is just put a little bit of the freeze-dried mixture in there as well just so that it'll kind of soak up all that moisture just kind of mix it in a little grab Grub, um, you want it to be about a golf ball size. For me, this recipe yielded probably about five to six of the meatballs. Um, the recipe initially calls for you to form the ball and roll it in the freeze dried, but I found what really helps is just kind of putting it in my hands and just kind of getting a little freeze dried, getting a little of the mixture and just kind of forming it like that. All right, so that's about what it's gonna look like. It's not the prettiest <laughs> meatball, but it's definitely, definitely effective. Alrighty, so then after you have all your meatballs rolled out on the pan, let's go ahead and set this guy aside. You're gonna go ahead and put it in the refrigerator for about two hours or so. Put it in the refrigerator, let it solidify, and then this is what it's gonna look like afterwards. Please, y'all, I worked so hard on these meatballs. Like, <laughs> um, but this is what it's gonna look like. So far, I gave one to my dog and she really liked it. Did she get stuff all over her face? Yes, but it's fine. <laughs> Alrighty. So then now that we did the meatballs, let's go ahead and move on to my favorite part, which is the pie. It is right here. Oh, not the latte, sorry. It's the pie. Okay. Let's put this guy aside. So what you're gonna need is you're going to need four ingredients. So you need the primal frozen nuggets, 16 ounces of the winter squash winter puree. I'm sorry, winter squash puree, edible elixir. And you are also going to need honey and goat's milk, uh, specifically the primal brand. So primal goat milk, the, um, the frozen nuggets, edible elixir, and honey. So you're gonna notice with all these recipes, you really just need four ingredients. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna need is a pie tin, just any pie tin that you have, or even just like a um, one that you get at the grocery store, a foil one, that's fine. Um, and you're gonna put 10 of the primal frozen nuggets in here. You're just gonna go ahead and just put them in there. I've already pre-measured um, these guys out and kind of mushed them a little. Okay. And you're just gonna get a fork and just kind of smush it in. This is gonna be our crust. So you're not gonna add anything else to it. Um, unless you do want it to be a little bit more crunchy, you can put a little bit of the freeze dried in there. That works just fine. And just put this guy in here. Okay, 
And so then you just want to make sure it's like evenly coated. That's perfect. And you just want to make sure you get the sides too. I'm not a baker, but I'm a dog baker, y'all. Okay, perfect. Sweet. So then after it's all, you're gonna wanna, you're probably gonna wanna get all the way around the side. Um, but after that is done, you're gonna put it in the refrigerator for about two hours and you just wanna make sure that it um, solidifies here. Or not solid, but you know, more of a crust. And then after that is done, then we're gonna go ahead and do the filling. So the filling is, um, one more time, the goat's milk, honey, and the winter squash edible elixir. So you're going to, I just have a Nutribullet, but you can get a blender, a cup with a spoon, you know, I don't think your dog's gonna notice, be like, hey, mom, this is a little chunky, you know? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so you're gonna get four ounces of the Primal's goat milk and just go ahead and put that guy in here. Sweet. And you want to make sure you shake it up too because all the good stuff is at the bottom. And then get in a whole entire, so this is 16 ounces. You're just going to go ahead and put the whole thing in there because this is a, a fairly large pie. Um, for me, I've noticed that it, it'll last a really long time, especially if you just want to give them a treat. Okay. So let's go ahead and pour this guy in here. Perfect. And then you just need one tablespoon of the raw honey. Um, it doesn't have to be organic, but you just want to make sure that it's raw. I think um, you could get it at Target, Walmart, wherever. I'm just going to kind of just put it and just eyeball it. I mean, my dogs don't care if it's super sweet or not, so it should be fine. Alrighty, and then put this guy on here. Perfect. Okay, excuse me one second. I'm just going to blend this guy up. Perfect. So this is what your filling is going to look like. Because this crust isn't um, super formed, I'm not going to put this guy on here. But um, after this is in the out of the refrigerator for two hours, you're going to going to put this guy on top of here, put it back in the refrigerator for another two hours or so. Um, if you do want it to be a little bit firmer or like an actual pie, you know, when you cut into it, you can put in like... Um, gelatin or even um, some of the primal nuggets as well into the mixture just so it again it like soaks up that moisture and then afterwards this is what it's gonna look like oh my god i tried so hard for this and i'm so excited i gave my dog a definitely a lick of the spoon and she was super excited Alrighty. So far, so good. Do any of these recipes sound good? The meatballs, the pie, I'm really, really excited. Okay, and then the last, um, the last thing is going to be a pumpkin spice latte. So you are going to get the primal goat milk. You're going to get turmeric, cinnamon, and then again with the winter squash puree because um because i've already you know used up all my winter squash puree you're just gonna have to imagine but it's cinnamon turmeric goat's milk and the puree and you need um so it's basically two parts of the winter squash puree and then one part of the goat's milk i just went ahead and did like two cups of the winter squash puree and then one cup of the goat's milk let me get to that page. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, so two parts of the Primal Winter Squash Puree um, with the goat's milk, with the cinnamon and turmeric. Turmeric and cinnamon, both really good anti-inflammatories. They also just smell really, really good. Um, so you're just gonna blend that guy up and you wanna make sure that you have a cute little pup glass. I mean, you don't have to, but it definitely makes the recipe feel um, and taste a lot better. And so for my pups, I have this cute little 
doggy glass and I'm telling you they won't they won't eat it out of anything else <laughs> um, but yeah so we've got the meatballs we've got the pies and we also have the drink as well so all of these things are really just going to spice up your dog's normal everyday routine and also to get them in the Thanksgiving spirit you know I think we could all use just a little bit extra love this year and I'm really really excited to see you guys try these recipes um, you know, take, you know, tag Healthy Spot, tag Primal Foods, and then hopefully one of you guys gets that $50 um, super awesome gift at the end. Okay, so let's head back in here. Let me get this guy for Fio because she's being so good. Okay. And then let's just sit down. Let's just sit down and chat. So let's go ahead and talk about building a better bowl for your pets. So pets are really just like us. We eat pretty much the same thing. Chinese takeout food, pizza, you know, or chicken breast, something, you know, you kind of stick with what you know. Um, and they are, you know, they need something to kind of spice it up. So I super recommend the Primal Winter Squash Puree, which is what you saw in all these recipes. Um, or the goat's milk. You could even do like a kibble cereal with the goat's milk. Um, I know for my dogs, I'll just put in just a little bit and it has honestly made a huge, huge difference. All right. And please guys, please tag Healthy Spot, tag Primal Pet Foods. I'm really excited to see you guys' um, recipes. One more time, are any, any cool pets names? I'm really excited. Just kind of chill with you guys for a little bit. Theo, come here, Theo, come here, come here, come here, be in the outtake, come here. Oh. Somebody else wants to say hi to you. This is Rainbow. She was recently adopted from Family Dog Rescue here in the Bay. And she absolutely loves raw food. When we first got her, she had a lot of um, allergies, her ears were really raw. Um, and after switching over to, you know, primal pet foods, it has honestly made a huge difference. She, she's a little scared, but you know, she's getting there and we're really, really excited to just, you know, our journey with just adoption and, you know, also to everybody is getting those COVID puppies. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys, again, if you guys have any questions of anything that I went over today, please just feel free just to DM us. Um, and you guys can go ahead and screenshot the recipes and they're going to be um, on our IGTV. So that's totally fine. And um, which recipes were you guys interested in the most? The meatballs, the pie, the latte? I'm really like, honest, I really like the latte personally because it freezes really well. You can um, just add a little bit, again, kind of like with the goat's milk, you can just add a little bit into their kibble. Um, but yeah, you know, one more time, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Healthy Spot and Primal Pet Foods for sponsoring this. Um, and in terms of for Thanksgiving, I am still figuring it out. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, please, take a picture of your dogs and tag us. And yeah, and so you just wanna post that within 24 hours and then you're all good to go. But I just wanna say thank you, thanks everybody. Oh, yay, puddles, oh! Yeah, the latte, I'm really excited about the lattes too. The meatballs, I'm really excited about those guys um, just because you just put them in an airtight container and they last a long time time like up to like three or four days really really good but thank you guys so much i am gonna go ahead and sign off again if you have any questions please feel free just to dm us thank you everybody thanks guys hope everybody has a good day bye